is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can get your passcode back onto your Checkrain jailbroken iPhone 10, iPhone 8, or iPhone 8 Plus. So as you can see, this is on my iPhone 10. It's jailbroken with Checkrain. Technically, it's jailbroken with Odyssey Rain. It's on iOS 14.7.1. And for those of you that have the iPhone 8, the 8 Plus, or the iPhone 10, you would know one of the most annoying things about the Checkrain jailbreak is that you have to disable Face ID or Touch ID and passcode lock on this iPhone in order for it to be jailbroken with Checkrain. And also, once you are jailbroken, you cannot re-enable uh, Face ID, Touch ID, or passcode lock because basically it would crash the jailbreak. Uh, but there is a tweak that is currently being developed that will re-enable at least passcode lock right now. So as you can see, I do have passcode lock on my iPhone 10 with check rain. Now, one thing to take note on before you decide you want this tweak is it does not persist through the non jailbroken state. So if I were to power off my iPhone, slide the power off or force restart, or the battery dies, when I turn it back on, the passcode lock will not be there. So it only works while you are in the jailbroken state. So take note on that. This isn't really a anti-theft solution. Uh, to me, this is more of a solution to keep like friends and family out of your iPhone because they will see that there is a passcode lock and they might not know to you know uh, force restart it or to turn it off, to turn it back on, to disable that. They might just see the passcode and it'll hinder them because they'll see, oh, there's a passcode. Okay, well, I'm not getting in there. Like I said, if, if your iPhone were to get stolen, if that person knows that it's jailbroken, they could force restart it and then the passcode is disabled. So just take note on that. I wanted to make that very clear. Now, in order to get this tweak, you will have to be a Patreon member of the developers. So if we go into the developers Patreon here and the tiers, uh, I'm pretty sure that you can get access to this for the $2 per month and you get access to a bunch of other tweaks as well. So it's not just this one tweak. So take note, it's not free to get this. Also, it is in beta and it is still being developed. I'm hoping in the future, the developer will add support for face ID and touch ID because currently it only works for passcode lock. But once you have became uh, a member of the developer's Patreon, you will then get access to the developer's Discord server. And this is where you can find all of the tweak downloads from this developer. You get Home Plus, you get Chapters, you get Status Viz, you get Page Bar, and then you also do get access to Lockdown. So that is the tweak that re-enables passcode on these iPhones. Uh, from this channel here, what you can do is just select on whatever is the latest version and you can open it in Cilio. If you don't get the open in Cydia option here, you might need the Zebra package manager. Uh, so if you don't get this option when you click on the file, just download Zebra and use Zebra to install it but I'm just gonna click on open in Cilio and I'm gonna install it. It basically installs just like a normal tweak. As you guys can see here, we'll confirm on that. We'll hide the details and then we'll restart the springboard. Now, after you have installed the tweak, you still have to enable the passcode. So um, I have it enabled because I already had the tweak, but you'll slide to unlock, you go into settings and then you go to your normal face ID and passcode section within the settings application, just like in stock iOS. And then once you go in here, you can just simply simply go down and turn your passcode on. And then you can choose your four digit passcode or six digit or basically any passcode from this option you can enable. Like I said, this does not yet support face ID or touch ID. So hopefully, again, like I said, we see an update for that in the future doesn't support it yet, but at least you can still get a passcode on your jailbroken iPhone. So that's how you can kind of get your passcode back on the, you know, the A11 shipped check range jailbroken iPhone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. 
Uh, I'll leave all the links for everything you guys will need in the description. Uh, this has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.